What are bar graphs? Bar graphs are a way of organizing information using bars to represent amounts of something. These bars represent amounts in a category. These are similar to pictographs, which we'll see later. So bar graphs will have several different things. They'll have bars that you can see here. They'll have a title. This one's titled Favorite Cereal. They'll have labels like type of cereal here and number of votes. They'll have categories, cornflakes, Cheerios, life, and kicks. And they'll have a scale, which will have an interval between numbers. So remember interval we looked at with thermometers. That's how much it goes up each time. So this one we can see is going up by ones, zero, one, two, three, and so on. So what is the interval in this bar graph? The interval is one because it's going up by ones. How many votes did cornflakes receive? So if we look over at cornflakes, first I'll find where it says cornflakes and I'll look up till I get to the top of the bar and then I can follow the top of that bar over to where it says number of votes and I can see that that's four. So how many votes did cornflakes receive? They received four. Sometimes bars don't reach exactly to each number in the scale. Sometimes they are in the middle. So according to the graph, how many hours of sleep should children ages six to 11 get each night? So first I have to find where it says ages. So age group, children ages six to 11 years. So this is my bar I'm gonna look at. Oh, and right here I can see, if I follow that over, it ends up right in the middle there. Hmm. This is where I have to think about my interval on the scale. So I can see it goes 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So it looks like it's going up by twos. So if my bar is right in the middle between 10 and 12, the number that's right in the middle there is 11. So children ages six to 11 years, according to this graph, should be getting 11 hours of sleep each night. Bar graphs can also organize more information than just favorites. So we've seen some before um, for favorites, we've seen some for amount of sleep, and now we have lists of names of people at the family reunion. I can see there's also double bars here. And if I look over at my key, that tells me male and female. So their last name was Brown. There's some men and some women with the last name Brown, Kildare, Roberts, and O'Hara. How many boys participated in canoeing and tennis? So if I look at this graph, I see canoeing here and tennis. Hmm. But I ask just for boys. So I'll look over at boys. And here we've got 25 and 20. So I do 25 plus 20, which is 45. Bar graphs don't have to be shown vertically. They can also be horizontal. What does this graph show? How many votes did cheese get? How do you know? Did any snacks get the same number of votes? If yes, which ones? How many more votes did fruit get than trail, mi than trail mix? Sometimes there are multiple bars in each category. We've seen this before. How many boys and girls liked soccer? Remember it says how many boys and girls liked soccer. So if I go over here again, soccer, Girls are yellow, boys are red. So I follow that up, that's six. 
Oh, soccer again, it's right in the middle there. What's between two and four? It's three. So six plus three is nine. So how many boys and girls like soccer? Nine. How many more boys liked basketball than girls? 